This is the Cold Gun 130, um, designed for anthracite coal. I'm burning by tinless coal. So now it's time. We just filled up the hopper, got it full of coal. Um, we're gonna go ahead and empty the ash. Starting January the 1st is when I first did empty the ash pan and filled up the coal. And then on the 5th, I had to fill up the coal hopper again. The 7th, I did the ash. The 9th, I had to fill up the coal. The 12th, I did the coal and the ash. And then on the 15th today, I did the coal and now I'll empty the ash. So we've got three days worth of ash. And um, actually is what happened was we got down it, we got up to some pretty warm temperatures already. And um, it's like we're in the 40s now. And the, um, my set point for my ash I had it at 144 degrees. It was working fine back when we were in the single digits. But 133 degrees is where I was in the summer. So it seems to be working back at 133 degrees. I did put the thermocouple pretty much where um, alternate heating systems where they told me to put it, they they want uh, they said I had it sticking too far back. So this time I stuck it right back where it was from factory, and um, reached down and grabbed a little bit more patience, <laughs> and um, it seems to be working fine. Okay. So here's the ash, and um, I do get some clinkers. This is a little bit different. Now that I'm burning this oil stoker coal versus lump coal that was sitting for a year and dried up on me, but I had to burn it because I had five ton of it. Um, from July to December, it took me to get rid of what I had. Year old coal dried and I had to bust it up and burn it. But <clears throat> I still get the fly ash and um, I do get clinkers but it's not bad at all uh, this is just three days i'll show you what i do with the ash we do a lot of bottom ash we get a lot of bottom ash from a power plant and they put those in the alleys around here and whatnot so road bed and whatever but i just take this This is all basically bottom ash from our power plant. But like I said, that was three days worth of ash. And I mean, a hopper full of coal, and I had just a little bit of ash. I mean, you don't get much ash. This, this coal doesn't. I buy this coal out of Spring Creek, out of Wolf Mountain Coal Company. And, and um, even though we have a coal mine here in Coal Strip, um, <clears throat> I drive an hour away to get that coal. And it's actually got higher BTU, less ash. It's a hotter coal. It's a better quality of the um, sub bituminous bituminous coal, so um, the higher quality, less ash, hotter BTUs. Alright, we just went over the ashing and um, watched a cycle 
and um, basically is the design of that ashing grate with a stair step in it from my understanding is is that's what breaks up your clankers if you get any or whatnot and I've seen them um, I've seen the um, the Axemen Andersons those those coal boilers they uh, with anthracite coal I've seen them create clankers too and they have the same design so I'm assuming that that stair step ash grate is what breaks up them clankers and actually this one here with this ant uh, bituminous coal and, and subbituminous coal it does a pretty good job at um at busting up those clankers now in the manual they do talk about if you get like clanker jam or whatever take a rod you can stick in there and bust it up and every now and then i will do that just to see if i'm bound up in there and um every now and then i'll hit a hard spot and i'll just tap it with my hammer i'll have a rod sticking through the the damper here and um, you can feel when you're on that grate and you can feel when you're up against a clanker and every now and then like i said i've been burning this since july and now it's january i've been burning since july of 2018 and um <clears throat> July to December I went ahead and got all my old old um, lump coal burned and now I'm into some stoker coal fresh brand new coal and it's January 2019 and I've had a time or two where I had to stick my rod in there and I do it for an inspection type to see if I do have clinker build up and um, every now and then when I do stick it in there I do feel a, a um, something in there so I just went ahead and tapped with my hammer and, break it up and you can feel that rod just go all the way down to the ash grate no big deal it's part of it's part of owning the boiler I guess but um like I said at the end of the day my ultimate goal is heat our house and heat our water and we're doing that efficiently